Okay, Adobe Portfolio. Uh, they have a quick little uh, write up here, but I feel like if you cared about that, you wouldn't be looking for a video. So we will jump right in. If you're subscribed to the photography plan, and I assume any plan higher than that, you uh, have access through myportfolio.com. Uh, one thing I will point out right away, you're not stuck using it. You'll get uh, your username.myportfolio.com, but you can point it to a, a subdomain or, or straight to your, your main domain if you want to make it your entire website. Uh, let's go edit. There are a bunch of themes to choose from. Uh, this one looks alright. So the main uh, driver here is what they call projects. I've broken them up into you know, types of photography, portraiture, music, uh, maybe we'll add some landscapes. And you can create little links on the side. This links to some YouTube stuff. This is a gallery which hosts the projects underneath. That's the page we're on right now. And links to Instagram and Facebook. Uh, so let's add a new project. Oh, caps lock. Uh, you can upload off your hard drive, or if we skip it, we can do it from here, or pull straight from Lightroom uh, Web. If you have Creative Cloud assets, if you're just on the photography plan, you probably don't have a whole lot uh, as far as that goes. And text, YouTube videos. The only problem I find this doesn't cache very well. So through multiple instances, if you're going to set up your whole portfolio in one shot, you're going to have to wait for it to load. Oh, good. Maybe I'll just blur those out because I'm going all crazy there. Um, what do I want? I created some collections to kind of streamline this. Unfortunately, they don't let you do collection groups because these are all grouped together. Let's go in here and just pick a couple. Yeah, I'm still waiting for thumbnails. If one likes fireworks, I don't know if they count as landscapes, but for our purposes, it's good enough. It's going to pull the files in from Lightroom Web. There we go. Quite a large size. Once that is done, if you chose, you could add text in between. Each uh, image. Pull more from Lightroom, Embed Media. You'll see these are all the icons that are on the side here. But I don't care necessarily about doing that. You can put your exit data type it by hand, but beautiful. It's a lovely moon. So I hit continue. Uh, you can save a draft if you're not done working on it, but I want to set my cover page. Let's go with something exciting. Uh, Dundas Peak. Fireworks it is. Project title, call landscapes. Let's do landscape. The date, most themes only show the year, maybe the month. Uh, day is just pretty rare. You must add three creative fields. Photography, digital photography, digital art, yay. Uh, I'm not going to push this to Behance, which I don't currently use. Again, you can save this or create it. There's no real harm in creating it, because as I will show you when we are done saving. There you go. The actual live site has not been updated yet. If I push update live site, 
portfolio is live. Boom. Landscapes. And they're probably sorted by date now that I think about it. Okay, back to editing. Uh, these are pages that I made. That is a gallery. Let's click it. I added two projects to it. Which are just links to pages. Open those up. There you go. Just embedded a YouTube video. Added some text underneath. Uh, you get your little links across the side here as well. Manage content. You can add galleries and decide what goes underneath them. In this case, uh, this test didn't work out quite like I want, so we're just going to ignore that for now. But we will add a new page called About. Skip and go to Lightroom again. Want an image? That's my header. Something I shot on my phone. So again, waiting for thumbnails. Ad, uh, and that's good enough for me. Update the page. Now my about link is right here. That's what we want to do. Rearrange it. Probably the bottom is the best spot for it. My aim is terrible. do want to point out these pages cannot be grouped under a gallery as you can see these are all independent if I wanted to create a section called social social media whatever have Instagram Facebook Twitter I am whatever I would have to create them as projects no big deal uh, and again, no damage here until I publish. and you look on these and actually when we're here oh I'm not in my editor when we are here get rid of whatever makes you happy powered by portfolio add a background change the covers uh, let's round our corners a bit more not so much that Apple wants to sue us maybe will show up on mobile after all. Go. Well, as far as the overlay goes, the black and white. Beautiful. So it's it's a really intuitive editor. Um, again, 
manage content. You can see how everything's laid out. You can add a page right from here. So again, pages are uh, separate. Links are separate. A gallery houses a group of projects, but projects can also exist on their own, and a project can be in multiple galleries, as we see here. So under YouTube, let's go and add the music link. And straight from in here, you can edit the title, jump straight to the content, da 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 da. And for our links, make sure it opens the same window. Um, I think they default to a new window. Edit the uh, text. Twitter. Change my link. But I'm going to fix that before I forget. There's really not a whole lot to it. Pick a theme you like and uh, go wild. Over in the settings here. Domain name. So your default will be uh, your username.myportfolio.com. And you can change it to a custom domain. Details are all here. I won't go into that. Uh, SEO has all your meta tags. Fave icon. You can take it offline if you need to. Disable right click, light box options. And that's not going to do anything. No. That's your actual Creative Cloud account. Okay, let's update our live site. Boom. Ta da! Ha! Ah, I've right clicked disabled in my site settings. Of course I do. There we go. Isn't that fun? Party time. That's all there is to it. I think it's a pretty versatile little uh, website editor, especially if you've got nothing and it is included in your subscription. Enjoy.